Thank you very much, Andy. Here we've got James Breckney, the mastermind behind DIY Rainbow. Hello, lovely to be here. I love Chatterbox TV. So James, tell me, why did you start the DIY Rainbow media campaign? DIY Rainbow really started like seven weeks ago. Uh, the state government in New South Wales took away the rainbow crossing in Taylor Square. It was supposed to be temporary, but a lot of people wanted it to stay. And it was really sad when they took it away. It was very political. And as a bit of a joke on Facebook, I chalked up my own crossing in my street. And then all of a sudden, people started doing them all over Surrey Hills, all over Sydney, and then all over Australia and even in some parts of the world. This campaign could be a poster child for going viral. What does going viral mean to you? I think going viral is so subjective, um, which is so great. I think if you're somebody on Facebook and you're getting three or four likes and then one day you come up with something really funny and you get 30 likes, I think that's a little bit viral or a, a cold, you know? Do you have any tips or advice for anyone that wants to make a successful social media campaign? I think, you know, lightning strikes, you can never really pick it. You always want to be true to yourself and, and do what you think's right instead of fishing out likes and fishing out um, popularity. You really want to make sure that you believe in what you're doing. I think you've really got to be adaptable. We didn't even really come up with the DIY rainbow hashtag until maybe four or five days into the actual campaign itself because that's what people just tended to gravitate towards. Um, I still invented it, but had I not invented it and something else was the most popular, we would have gone with it, you know? Also, you need a team. I, I think about one week into it, I was dead and I, I reached out to a whole bunch of people at digital agencies and uh, three or four friends jumped in and helped me manage the page. And don't be afraid of um, sharing the workload. If you could go back and do it any differently, would you? I don't think I would do much different. Any, any sort of internet sensation is going to die out. Um, but in terms of when it went viral, I was so ready for this. I'm sort of like, I'm 29. I think it's my Saturn return happening. I've been practicing on Facebook and Twitter for so long. Once this happened and the media were knocking on my door, I grabbed it with both hands. I was having very late nights. I was taking days off work and I just threw my all into it to really keep it going, to sort of feed the fire, if you will. You were hungry. I was hungry. <laughs> and for good reason, like not only um, I'm interested in, in, in a media career, but not only that, I mean, it was such a great cause. I, I was really protective of the movement. I've got to make sure that it keeps going and that, um, and that we do the, the best thing for it because it was just so beautiful.